Okay, so uh, M1 from January 2018 IAL paper. A question about speed time graphs. Um, a cyclist is traveling along a straight horizontal road. The cyclist starts from rest at point A on the road and accelerates uniformly at 0 0.6 meters per second squared for 20 seconds. He then moves at a constant speed for 4 T, not 40, but 4 T seconds, where T is less than 20. He then decelerates uniformly at 0 0.3 meters per second squared and after T seconds passes through the point B on the road, the distance from A to B is 705 meters. Sketch a speed time graph for the motion of the cyclist between points A and B. So let's make our pair of axes. That's the speed and that's the time. Okay, so you've got your speed in meters per second. And you have your time. You have your time in seconds. Okay. Now, um, the star cyclist starts from rest at point A on the road. So this is where point A is. He starts from rest, so it means he's not moving. Okay, so he starts from that point there. Accelerates uniformly at 0 0.6 meters per second for 20 seconds. Okay, so the first 20 seconds, he's accelerating at this um, constant acceleration. So we can work out how we can work out what speed he reaches. Okay, so we can work out what speed he reaches. We know that um, v equals u plus a t. Okay, so we know u is zero. We know a is 0 0.6. So the speed it reaches is 0 0.6 times the number of seconds, which is 20, which is going to give you um, basically 12 meters per second. So he reaches 12 meters per second after 20 seconds. Okay, so let's just make a little sketch of that. So 12 seconds, whoops, I need a straight line. So 12 seconds, he's reached a speed of 20 meters per second. Okay, so you can think of his his graph will look something like that so far. Okay? All right. He then moves at constant speed for 4 T seconds, where T is less than 20. Okay, so he's going to go for a bit. Yeah. So the T is less than 20, so it's quite a long way compared to this. All right, it's not to scale, of course. He then de decelerates uniformly at 0 0.3 meters per second and after T seconds passes through P, point P on the road, the distance from A to B is 705. So it doesn't say he de decelerates to, to rest, just that he decelerates at 0 0.3 meters per second. Okay, so what we can do is just make a slightly steeper deceleration until he reaches a particular point. We don't know if he's come to rest or not, it doesn't say um, he's actually come to rest. Okay, so this is where B is then. Okay, so we assume that he didn't come to rest, so this is where B would be. Oops. Just fix that first. Okay. So what do we know here? We know that this is 20 seconds, okay? And then he moves, so this is 4t plus 20 seconds, where he's moving in constant speed. So that's 4t, and that's, the time will be 20 plus 4t. And then um, he decelerates uh, uniformly at, and after t seconds, so that's another t, so that's 5t plus 20. Okay. Um, we don't know what this speed is here. I'll just draw a line across. I don't know what that speed is here. But that's the information we have got 
from this uh, diagram. We know the total distance under the curve is 705 meters. Okay, um, that's all the information that we can hear. It says t is less than 20. That means, okay, so I mean, it's not to scale, of course. So that's not a big, big deal. They're not supposed to do it. It's just a sketch. Okay, now part B. Part B says find the value of t. Okay, so how do I link the speed time graph with the information that's been given? Well, they've told us that the distance, the total distance, is equal to 705 meters. That means the total area under this whole shape is 705. Okay, now what we have here is we have uh, a few shapes we could consider. Um, let's think you can have a triangle and you can have a rectangle and you can have a trapezium if you want. Or you're going to have a big trapezium and a little trapezium. Okay, so you can have the trapezium that goes from I mean, this shape here, A to 40 plus 20, this, this shape here. And another trapezium that's upwards. I like to use trapezium because it just has less, you don't have to break it down into many different objects. So you could do a triangle, a rectangle, a triangle, a rectangle. You could do that. Okay, but you can see that there's one big trapezium here. Okay, going up to 40 plus 20, up to 12. And you have this small trapezium that's kind of like on its side. Okay, on this side. So let's, I'll, I'll use that. So let's see. So you've got the big trapezium. Now remember for a trapezium, there's a particular formula. I like to not memorize the formula, but the distance between the parallel sides divided by 2 times the sum of the parallel sides. So that's A and B, and that's H. Okay, so the distance between the parallel sides here, which is 12, over 2 plus, sorry, times the sum of the parallel sides, which is this length, plus that length. So you're going to have, this This length is 40 from there to there. And that length is 40 plus 20. So you're going to have times 40 plus 40 plus 20. Okay, that's going to give you 6 times 8t plus 20. 6 eighths of 48, that's 48t plus 120. That's the area of this first trapezium. Then you've got this other trapezium over here. Let me do it so we don't lose information. So you've got this trapezium. This trapezium is slightly different because it's on its side. Okay, here the distance between the parallel sides is basically t. Okay, that, that's the distance here, t. That's the time there, t. Right, so that's t. And the sum of the parallel sides, well, that's 12. And this, we don't know what it is. Okay, so let's try and work what that out is in terms of t. Okay, I know that it was going at 12 meters per second. So let's use the same thing, V equals U plus AT. That's V equals U plus AT. So we want to find the final speed, which is here. The initial speed in this section here is 12 plus A, which is 0 0.3, they told us. Okay, it's decelerating, so it's actually negative. So it's going to be 12 minus. It's negative, right? Minus a times, and this is going for t seconds, t. So you're going to have 12 minus 0 0.3 t. Okay, so that's that's v, sorry. That's, that's, that's going to be the speed at this point. It's going to be 12 minus 0 0.3 times t. Okay? Okay. So you got... That's that, yeah. So this is 12 minus 0 0.3 t. So you're going to have the distance between the parallel sides, which is t, divided by 2, times the sum of the parallel sides, which is 12, plus 12 minus 0 0.3 t. Now that gives you t over 2 times 24 minus 0 0.3 t, which gives you um, 12 t minus... Um, that's going to be 0 0.15 t squared because you've got t over 2 times 0 0.3 t, 0 0.3 t. So that's t squared and a half of 0 0.3, 0 0.15. Okay, so now we can say, let's make a bit of space here. Okay, now we can say that the total area, the total distance traveled is going to be given by 
the sum of these two. So you have 48t plus 120 plus 12t minus 0.15t squared. And that's equal to the distance traveled, which is 705 meters. Okay, so we need to solve this equation to find the value of t, which we need for this answer. Okay, so let's simplify it first. You've got 48t plus 12t, that's going to be 60t. You're going to have um, minus 1.0.15t squared, let me write that, and then minus 0.15t squared plus 60t. Okay, and you're going to have minus 705 you're going to have, um, uh, sorry, you're going to have plus 120 minus 705 equals 0. So you have minus 0 0.15t squared plus 60t. Okay, and you've got 120 minus 705. So 120 minus 705. That gives you minus 585. Okay, now we want to, first of all, get rid of the minus sign from the t squared. So 0 0.15 t squared plus 60t minus 585 equals 0. Okay, now we could actually solve this, and there's no problem with you solving it, just using your calculator, if you wish. Okay, and there's absolutely no problem with you doing it in M1. Okay. So you can just go straight to uh, your so your menu, and you're going to go to equation, which is number nine, and you're going to choose a polynomial. You're going to choose degree two, and you can just put the values in, like um, zero point one. This was a negative, by the way. That's a negative there. Something like that. Yeah, so zero point negative zero point one five equals, and you got sixty. Your quadratic here equals, and you got negative five hundred eighty five equals. So you're going to get your answers three hundred ninety. So one of them is t equals three hundred ninety, or, and you're going to have ten. Now, what did they tell us in the beginning of the question? T is less than 20. Right, so for sure, we know that T cannot be T cannot be 390. Why? Because T has to be less than 20. Therefore, T is equal to 10 seconds. And there's the answer to part B. Okay? All right, it says find the value of T. Okay, let me write that. It looks like 105, doesn't it? You should be careful how you write things. 10 seconds. Okay, so there's part um, B done. Now, as for part C, it says the cyclist continues his journey, still decelerating at 0 0.3 meters per second squared until he comes to rest at point C on the road. Find the total time taken by the cyclist to travel from, from uh, A to C. Okay, so you need to refer back to this. So basically, he continues on his journey. Okay, he continues on his journey, and he ends up coming to rest. So you want to know what was the total time he took. So let's first work out what speed he was going at at the time when uh, we last considered that B. This is B, this is C. So the speed he was going at this point here is um, going to be 12 minus 0 0.3 times 10, okay, which is 9. So 12 minus 3, which is 9. So he's going at 9 meters per second here, and he's going to come to rest, okay, and he's going at a con constant speed. So let's just use constant acceleration. So let's just use SUVAT. Okay, so you have SUVAT. All right, we don't need this. Um, we know that 9 is his initial speed and 0 is his final speed. No, it says, yeah, until he comes to rest. And acceleration is minus 0 0.3, and we want to find the time. Okay, so we can use V equals U plus AT. 
So we know the final speed is zero. We know the initial speed is nine. We know the acceleration is minus 0 0.3, and we're going to find what t is. So the time is going to be um, 9 divided by 0 0.3, okay, which is 90 over 3, which is 30 seconds. So the total time it's taken for the whole journey, for the total time, will be basically the time up to that point, which is 5 5 t plus 20 plus this time that we found at the end so it's going to be the total time is going to be 5 t plus 20 plus our 30 seconds so you have 5 times 10 plus 50 which is 100 seconds 100 seconds make that bit neater <clears throat> and there we have question number five completed Thank you for watching.